Lock it up good. Here we go, and we're rolling. The supernatural element of the show allows us to open a lot more doors. For the first time, we're gonna deal with witches. They hinted on it some in season three, and we got to see some of the stuff with Jesus. But now there's full out witches. They are creating chaos all around them. We left off last season, I revealed to Lafayette that I, I'm a witch and that there's something inside of him that he needs to tap into as well. He's gonna introduce me deeper into that aspect of his life and history. It's all about necromancy. Being able to bring something from the dead to life. If they can control the dead, then they can control us. <laughs> what do you do in a town that's pretty much run by vampires when now something else is at the top of the food chain? and it's bad as hell. They're suddenly very vulnerable, and that's dangerous in this world. Although we are difficult to hurt and difficult to kill, you can still kill us. A witch can do that from a distance. A witch can cast a spell on you and change who you are or who you think you are. Eric, it's me, Suki. Who? I think the fans can get excited about so much. There's so many different storylines and things interweaving. Everything is so well thought out. They're gonna get a host of new characters, more blood, more sex. And if you loved the show before, you're gonna be hooked, line and sinker this time. It's a really fun ride. It is definitely gonna be worth the wait.